Hello and welcome back to another video here with me, Mioni. I'm joined by my girlfriend, Fran. How you doing, Fran? Hello. 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 You like you sound like an owl slightly. Yeah, I was I was half yawning. Sorry. Half yawning, <laughs> as as opposed to the the semi yawning, just slightly oh, yawning. Yeah. Right. Today we're looking at a housing item, or in particular, an exterior design that was added in patch five point four. Wasn't it, Fran? Wasn't it? Yes. This is something that you can either get from a market board, or you can make yourself if you have a grand company that, act, well, a grand company, a free company that actually does stuff, that actually crafts things, you know, that actually work together on things. This is the florist walls. You can get the large and you can get the small and you can get the medium size. Uh, we bought um, from a market board last night the small florist walls. Simply because, um, well, we're not going to shell out 10 million gil to refurbish the FC house. That doesn't sound like a good idea, considering I like the Shiragani Castle to begin with. I like the Shiragani Castle on the small, Fran. It's one of my favourite things in the game. Do you like it? Yeah, it's pretty. I mean, we don't have to get rid of it. No, this is true. This is one of the main benefits. But I have purchased, with the gills, the small florist walls, and it says, a set of four walls designed for those who wish to bedeck their home with an abundance of flowers. Allergy sufferers beware, that's me then. Um, and obviously can only be used on small plots. The others say exactly the same, and they're all basically the same. They just scale, obviously, because of the size of your house. So the way that you change um, fixtures is you actually have to be inside the actual property's ground, so this kind of counts. We'll zoom out a little bit so you can see. Go to the social and then housing menu. You go to remodel exterior and you'll see this bit exterior wall is lit up. We just simply drag and drop. It says current exterior walls will not be lost. Proceed. Yes. And there we go. Um, as far as I can tell, it's as simple as that. And I think we press confirm. Did we, yeah. did we actually get our house back? Yes, we did. So that is what the florist's house looks like. Interesting. Very interesting. So the walls are now completely different. Let's start with the basics. So the walls are now a fence uh, with flowers attached to them. We had the etherite sort of on a wall there, so it's kind of floating a bit at the moment. Uh, we'll fix that has this beautiful sort of wooden entrance, which I quite like, personally. Um, very nice design. And then you've got the flowers. These lanterns light up at night. We'll show that in a little bit. What do we think, friend? I like it. I mean, because the picture I saw on the website was of a mansion, obviously. Yeah. But for small, it's still really nice. It's very it's really cute. Nice. Actually, it goes quite well with the aesthetic I've got going on in the garden as well. In a weird I way. I like the wooden logs around the side of the house. If you know. It's got a nice white roof with, like, planters growing on it. Um, the log cabin idea is something that... I've always wanted to live in a log cabin, actually, in real life. When I was younger, I was, I was half tempted to go and live in Alaska and make my own log cabin. I know that sounds bizarre, but... I've always liked the idea of that, and then I realised how cold it would be. <laughs> and then I'm like, yeah, okay, maybe not. But yeah, so you'll be able to walk around the full size of this, because they've definitely made this house uh, smaller. Obviously, this is a small, but on, even on the outer edges, we've got flower baskets here, look. And there's a trellis there with, with more, and there's little plants. So... A lot of people try to decorate their house and they run into the housing limitations. Now, it's great to have stuff like the Shiragane Castle walls, uh, which is what we had before. But it wasn't quite as many details on that as there is this. These newer housing designs are, frankly, way more packed with stuff. I mean, look how many items this is saving you and how much better it looks. For a start, we have an accented stepping area up to the entrance. We've got like a, a placardy thing of some description. 
you know, like uh, like a sales thing. Obviously, this is a florist's thing, so it's as if we're a shop, I guess. But it doesn't necessarily have to be. There's nothing that immediately shouts shop to me, apart from the sign. Yeah. Um, above the thing above the door, the placardy thing or whatever, it, what's, whatever that's called, the hanging sign. Um, we've got a light bulb there, which presumably comes on. It's quite I quaint, think it's isn't really it? Really nice. I I like it. It's very quaint, very quaint indeed. Yeah. So the other thing then is, can we actually alter the colours of this? Right. That's something you can normally do. Uh, is that something we have to switch to? Let's try that. Hold on. Switch back to the castle. No. So we can't change the colours of the florist wall. Which is unfortunate. Um, we can obviously do to this one. Interesting. Very interesting. That's unfortunate because I wouldn't mind dying the roof or something like that. Yeah. So there are still limitations. One thing they did say in the um, the live letter, the uh, live letter sixty one, is that this is actually at the limitations the exact memory bandwidth limitations of housing. So they've put in more stuff into this than anything else, and this is their absolute limit. So any designs they add in the future will be equal to this amount of objects packed into it, you know, visual loaded objects. So all of this stuff here, you know, takes up an absolute ton of memory bandwidth, apparently, um, all the flowers and stuff. So it is beautiful. But there are clear limitations. Um, does this affect the way that the inside looks then, based on the Ooh, walls? Oh, that's a good point. Isn't that how things usually are affected? I can't remember. No. Okay. Oh, no, it does. Wow, okay. Oh, wow, that's really cute. Look at the door. It has a, a wreath on it. Oh. Aww. That's really nice, and these windows are different as well. Obviously, you've got to excuse the fact that things are now clipped into it because we had lofts and stuff. Um, I quite like in. this win these windows. They're quite nice, aren't they? They're different. Um, obviously, there's one hidden there. Anything changed downstairs? Oh, yeah, look. There's, there's that there, which apparently shouldn't be there. <laughs> and downstairs yeah, is exactly the same mess as I left it. Yeah, this is my mess area. Don't, don't look at that. <laughs> oh, interesting. I like the front door, though. That's really cool. And, you know, yeah. you've got beams on the roof like the other cottages. Oh, that's nice. It's nice. The door is absolutely enormous, though. Look at the size of this door in comparison to my character. Yeah, I feel like Hansel and Gretel or something. Or Alice in Wonderland. Was this this big on the, on the outside? No, I think they've messed up a bit here because there's no way that that handle should be the length Head of my back. arm. How are we supposed to open this door? How's the Lalafell supposed to open this door? <laughs> the reef, hold on, the reef is way too big. Can you imagine trying to make a reef that big in real life? With roses the size of your head. Okay, I think the scaling might be a little bit off here, Square Enix. Just, just a tad. <laughs> <laughs> this is, yeah, yeah. I don't think this is how it's supposed to be, but it clearly is. Oh well. Um, if you too want to feel like you're one of the borrowers, um, you can get this this house designed today. I personally really, really cannot stand that. That's really annoyed me. The design's beautiful, but now I realise how big this door is. It makes everything look tiny in here, doesn't it? I feel like a midget. My goodness. I feel like Gimli, or like a, I'm walking into someone's hobbit house. You know? Oh, it is that big on the outside. What? Is it? The door is enormous. How did we not notice that? I don't know. I don't know. Imagine the force needed to open this door. 
right? Just in general. Especially if it's a shop door and has one of those springs on it. It's ridiculous. Yeah, but the door doesn't look that big on the outside because I guess... Yeah, I suppose we were quite, kind of just like dealing with it, but I've never seen a door for the size of, let's see, how many characters stood side by side? How many Makote is that? Five? Six? Six Makote in length? <laughs> I don't yeah. I don't like that. <laughs> I went to the house opposite and their door is uh, normal sized. I think they might have messed up on the sizing of the door. Yes, this is a normal door size, which is very clearly openable by by a, a mortal mortal person. There's those doorknobs, you know, easy peasy. And then you have Fee Fi Fo Fum. I smell Square Enix's made a dum dum over here. It's beautiful, don't get me wrong. But what's with the doors? The windows are beautiful. Maybe it's for Viera and Horofka. Is that what we're saying? Or is this is this tall people maybe. only building? Yeah, maybe. That's unfortunate, isn't it? But it's unfortunate. All of this stuff seems to have collision detection though, by the way. So you can stand on the sign and not the planters, apparently. You stand on the fence? That's a big thing for me, because if you're like me in this game, you like standing on fences? Yes, it is. Nice. None of those slanted fences that you can't actually stand on. Can we get on the roof of this? Eh. 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 <laughs> That's my fish trying to get out of water noise. Eh. No. Nah. Okay, maybe with a little bit of effort or something, or a jump from up there, but... Okay. You have a question. Do you slide down a roof when you try to get on it? No. <laughs> no? Oh, good. No one... Alright then. So, yeah. I would say this is okay. It's an okay housing design. Oh, there we go! All the lights are turning on! Wow, look at that! We've got butterflies on the roof. Like, butterfly windows. I was kind of stalling a little bit so we would see this at night because that's beautiful. Look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. The lanterns on the side of the gate there. Very pretty. Very pretty indeed. Lovely. Not a lot of light, but, you know. And the door is, well, it's still enormous. It's glowing nicely. Nice and warm for this type of season. And above the placard there. That's really nice, isn't it? Really nice it indeed. Is, I, even though the door is large, I still think it's a really nice design. Would you swap to this permanently? Well, there's nothing saying you can't switch it out once in a while, you know? True. True. But it's, it, it is, all in all, it is a really nice design. Yeah. And I think this was Furnishing Design Contest. Oh, right. So I believe a player designed this. It, I think this was back in 2017, though. I, I, I can't remember the exact date. But it's taken a long time for a lot of this stuff to come into the game. Um, quite rightfully so, if they had to put so much work into getting it to work in the game. But what a beautiful house. What a beautiful house. Oh, the, the things on the side of the house glow as well. Yeah. That's what I was saying, you know, on the roof as well. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. They're like butterfly wings. They're really yeah. nice, aren't they? Really, really cute. Yeah, it's really, really cute. Very, um, very different. Very different indeed. I like the loft one as well, that little loft light. If only we did have a two-story house like this as a small. If it wasn't just a lie when you go inside. <laughs> but there we go. Well, technically you could build one. If you really wanted to. You you technically could, yeah. But you would never get it to the scales and proportions. Oh, that um, that's the thing with uh, with Final Fantasy housing. I just wish that the inside represented what you see on the outside. Because um, you often see these upstairs that don't exist. Which is part of the reason why I like the Shiragana Castle. Because it doesn't try and fool you too much. There's no windows. Not really. Just little holes. Or anyway... A balcony, because the free company house has a balcony. 
Yeah. And it would be nice to get have a door to get out to the balcony. Yeah, that would be nice, actually. Alright, well anyway, thank you all kindly for watching. I know this is a bit longer than usual, but I did want to give you uh, a good proper tour of this. Somebody said that these videos were completely, um, well, nonsensical and that uh, you can just find all of this information on the lodestone and stuff, but I don't really understand that when, you know, you're not getting a full demonstration of the, of the items at hand, you're not getting a, a use case scenario, and you're certainly not getting different lighting conditions. So hopefully this, this did help and some people did enjoy it. And um, yeah, if you're going to get this one, prepare yourself for some very large doors. And I'll see you all next time. Much love. Bye, friend. Bye.